Man, oh man. <sighs> so, some of y'all might not believe this. Some of you might think I'm crazy. Some of you might be like, oh, he has a point. I understand. But I want you to listen to this, man, because this is the craziest shit. Like, this shit is real, bro. I keep telling people there is something about this spirituality, you feel me, that's affecting me. And what I mean by that is the other night, well, it's not even spirituality. Well, it kind of is spirituality, but it's more like uh, we we talking about the uh, the succubus. Like my spiritual, my higher self is trying to tell me the things that I need to stop doing. You feel me? And it's so fucking crazy that I'm just now getting this message. You feel me? And man. Okay, so I'm going to just tell y'all. So, I had a dream last night, right? And, long behold, it included a succubus. You feel me? Uh, those of you that don't know what a succubus is, it's basically a demonic um, feminine energy, basically. Uh, it's basically... Think of it as a female trying to lure you, like a luring female, you know what I'm saying, into doing, being very lustful, you know what I'm saying, take control and all of this and that. Just know that it's fucking bad, you feel me? Okay, so I have this dream, and it's a quick dream, too. It's a very, very quick dream, you feel me? I have this, I have this dream, and this was uh, this, this morning. I made sure I wrote it down. And I wasn't processing it yet, but I wrote it down and I had hopped on YouTube and I was watching a video and it randomly crossed my mind. And then I just sat there and pondered and I just thought to myself, Why did, what was the meaning behind that dream? And then it, it clicked with me. It clicked just like that. I came up with a solution that, well, a conclusion excuse me, a, a conclusion, right? That I was being lured by a succubus. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. This also included drugs. You feel me? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what happened in a minute, but I'm going to explain to you why this dream happened. So you all know once you, you know what I'm saying? You get some weed, you smoke, you know what I'm saying? You get in that type of mode. Like you trying to, you, you know what I'm saying? You trying to, you trying to do something. You trying to get into something. You feel me? You trying to, you trying to go crazy. You feel me? <laughs> and what happens to me, I feel that way. Every, any type of weed I smoke. You feel me? And it may, it gives him, it starts to bring these sexual thoughts and you know what I'm saying? You start getting in that mood. You start getting horny. You got, you know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens. It's regular. It happens. You feel me? And it's so weird. So what happened was I woke up in the dream. There was a female, a particular female, a very specific female that I've seen on my phone or looked at on my phone. You see, you feel me? And she had grabbed my hand. And you know, when you get into, when you get into dream mode, you start to automatically, you know what I'm saying? When you get to that point where you with a female or somebody, you automatically finna, you already know what's about to go down. But that didn't happen. She grabbed my hand. I thought something was about to happen. And then she immediately left. As I was getting ready to wake up, you could feel yourself getting ready to wake up, you know? Like you, you could feel that shit. But I started to drift back. And then I start to go down these stairs into this basement and I see this dude down there and he's trying to sell me some weed. Like he's selling me some weed and I'm buying it. And then instantly I wake up. That's when I immediately wrote it down. I hopped on YouTube. 
I was looking at a video, then the, the thought randomly crossed my mind, and then I had to process it. There was a seductress or a succubus, you know what I'm saying? A demonic feminine spirit that was trying to lure me into still doing weed. You feel me? Start start to, to continue smoking weed. Excuse me. To continue to smoke weed to keep myself in that state. Because you know is when it comes down to the succubus and the incubus, it's all about the sexual, the, 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 the appeal and all of that shit. You feel me? The lust. It was trying to tell me to keep myself in my lower state. See... I didn't know that this was this type of, this had this type of effect. I didn't know it had such a negative effect on my spirituality. I'm still a baby to this shit. You feel me? I don't consider myself the, the fucking king or the, I'm, I'm still a novice. You understand? So this whole experience is all new to me. It's all, it's, it's just all new. And it's weird. It's weird. It's really fucking weird. Like this succubus was trying to tell me to stay at my lower state and try to keep me in my lower state. Because a lot of people are influenced by their dreams. I being one of them when it comes to something good, but I know that I, after a dream, when I wake up, I get to thinking and I get to, I get to, I get to, whatever that dream may be, maybe it, maybe, maybe it may be success. That's when I wake up and immediately get on my shit, I'll get the right music, or I'll get to, you know what I'm saying, I'll get to doing something, but that's the crazy thing about it is that, that's why I said that my spiritual, my higher self is trying to warn me and tell me that this is keeping you here because you're continuing to allow yourself to do drugs, to, to smoke. I don't know whether it's telling me to completely stop or to take it easy. Because I do smoke, but I don't heavy smoke. I smoke, but I don't heavy smoke. You feel me? And this experience is just weird. Like like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of y'all might think that I'm weird. Y'all think might think I'm out of my mind. But look, bro, we have dreams for a reason. We have dreams for a reason, and there's messages in our dreams. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't believe that it's on a spiritual tip, it could be just a message to you telling you to stop something or to do something or to just, it, it could be anything. But this is this whole experience, it, it is weird, bro. Just the sudden realization was what was weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Because the dream was quick. Like, she literally grabbed my hand and was guiding me towards the same thing that kept me in that state of mind, which she likes. That's crazy. That is crazy to me. Like, I need to sit down and really just rethink a lot of stuff. I don't know. I, I think I just might stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start taking it more easier. And then I'm going to just stop. Simple as that. You feel me? I ain't finna be continuing and then keeping myself there. And then, hell no, nah, I'm not finna be doing that. But, man, this, this experience is weird. I'm going to keep y'all up to date on, you know what I'm saying, everything that I'm going through on this journey. You feel me? Because, like I said, I still practice spiritual teachings, such as meditation. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of myself even more, eating healthy, you feel me? I feel like the simple fact that I'm meditating even more, that's scaring them. Because now I'm starting to gain that, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to gain. And they don't like that. Especially not her, obviously. And once I do come in contact with this person or this, this thing again... It's going to be a problem for somebody. It ain't going to be me. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, man, what I believe is our dreams are meant to teach us things. You know what I'm saying? Some people say that it's another reality 
or it's parallel universe or you know what I'm saying, anything like that. But I'm just sharing my experience and giving my opinion. You feel me? That's really all I had to say for today. You feel me? Uh, I'm going to hit y'all back. I'm out.